Let's talk about that um, Eric Erickson. Eric Erickson is a CNN contributor. I think he also has a radio program in Georgia. He praises Rush Limbaugh. I mean, I think he's very strongly wanting to. And he's a blogger at Red State. And he wrote a piece that uh, a couple days ago, which, I don't know. I mean, it just seems pretty... Um, I mean, I guess. I don't know why CNN shouldn't have someone like this. He's also famously called uh, Justice David Souter a goat fucker uh, back in the day, which is not, you know, a particularly uh, nice and charitable thing to say about a Supreme Court justice. I have real problems with uh, Antonin Scalia. <clears throat> I don't think I would ever say that about him. Nor would I imagine that I would get hired for a job on cable television if I did. And he writes, people on the left are convinced if Mitt Romney wins, blacks will be put in chains out in cotton fields and uteruses will be locked up. People on the right are convinced if Barack Obama wins, the stars and stripes will come down, the red banner of communism will go up, and the American experiment will be promptly concluded. My worldview is pretty simple. I think this world is destined to go to hell in a handbasket by design. I think things are supposed to go to pot. If Obama wins, I won't be upset. If Romney wins, I won't be running through the streets cheering. I think either way, it's all part of the design. The world is going downhill. Barack Obama reelected just gets us down the slippery slope faster. For others, it's Mitt Romney who does. God is sovereign and he is in charge and he will return. That is my hope and ever-present expectation. It seems to me a very weird position to take if you're writing for a website that is basically only reason for existence is to convince other people to essentially vote for conservatives. Uh, maybe he's had a change heart. Maybe he's found God. You know, the God that says to his people, refer to Supreme Court justices as goat fuckers. <laughs> I think we are the last best hope of mankind on this planet, speaking of the United States. But my destiny is not tied to this planet, which I think is becoming more, more clear. What I do know for sure is that I'm headed home to eternity, and this world is temporary. God is sovereign, and whether you are for Barack Obama or Mitt Romney, set your sights on God, not November 6th, and be happy. In four years, we really will do this all over again. Right now, uh, right now you think so, or whether right now you think so or not. There is no permanence except in heaven. So, well, I guess the good news is, is that uh, he doesn't believe the world's going to end in three and a half to four years or less. So we will be around. Uh, he has stated, I think we're in pretty good shape in that respect. Or that Obama winning doesn't necessarily mean the world is going to end any sooner, which is pretty charitable of him. Yeah. That's, yeah. Uh, good luck with that, CNN. <laughs> good luck with that.